Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. As always, every Monday we bring you news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence. And here are the top stories of the last week. After introducing HoloLens at its Windows 10 event in January, Microsoft has been shown of more ways it envisions people will use it. Disney, NASA, Autodesk and Sketchfab has already lined up to get their hands on this new amazing technology. In fact, it's one of the most exciting breakthroughs we have these days, just in ways that you may never actually see. The HoloLens is basically a self-contained computer with its own dedicated CPU and GPU. There is also what Microsoft calls a holographic processing unit that tracks the environment around you, what you're looking at and what you're doing with your hands. Microsoft is using see-through lenses in HoloLens to allow users to see augmented versions of the environment, similar to Google's Glass headset. Backed into the headset are cameras for capturing photos and video, as well as numerous sensors and speakers that tell where your head is and feed your binaural audio to recreate the sense of sounds coming from certain parts of your environment. The mixed reality of the HoloLens has the professional and practical potential to revolutionize education by bringing 3D content into the real world. While you can't actually touch a hologram, sorry sex industry, its virtual nature does have certain advantages not only for medicine, but also for architecture, engineering, and design. While virtual reality has progressed leaps and bounds in the past few years, our ability to actually feel what we see in virtual worlds remains limited, especially in the consumer space. A team of engineering students at Rice University is trying to solve this problem with a haptic glove that lets you feel virtual objects and environments like they are actually there. The glow fits on your right hand and works without any external wires or cables. It provides haptic feedback through bladders in the fingertips that expand and contract to give the sense that you are actually holding or touching an object. It's not yet ready for the public. The prototype works, but it needs further development before it's ready to sell to a general consumer audience. Many commercial telepresence robots are mirrorless screens on iPads or moving platforms. Robodora promises to make users feel like they've been transported to another location when it does become available. The system was created by a team of roboticists at University of Pennsylvania who want to provide people a more immersive telepresence experience without draining their bank accounts. Their robot is paired with an Oculus Rift headset which can track the user's head movements and orientation. That data is wirelessly transmitted to the robots, Arduino and Intel Edison microcontrollers, prompting its camera-equipped head to follow the user's movements. Done right, the setup can make you feel like you're really in the meeting room, the office or wherever the telepresence robot is. However, perfecting the system hasn't been easy for the roboticists, who are still trying to reduce the lag time between the user's movements and what's shown on screen. A third patient in France has been given an artificial heart transplant as the first phase of tests into the pioneering technology nears its end. George Pompidou Hospital in Paris confirmed that the surgery took place a fortnight ago. It comes a few weeks after the second patient to receive an artificial heart. Doctors are quite optimistic that the patient would make a full recovery. The first patient to receive an artificial heart, a 76-year-old man, lived for 74 days after the surgery. The second patient, who had the treatment in Nantes nine months ago, told the newspaper last month that he was recovering well. The 69-year-old man, who wishes to remain anonymous, says, It doesn't feel like I'm carrying something that isn't mine. I'm getting up, walking, bending over, keeping my balance. I don't even think about it. He hopes the heart, which runs on rechargeable batteries, will give him another 20 years of life expectancy. The device aims to provide an alternative to patients who are on the way to list for a transplant. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. You're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media, leave your comments and join the global conversation. Stay tuned and see you next Monday.